Then this third type of soil is the seed that's sown among thorns. And it, Jesus says this person hears the word, and it says, but the cares of this world, the deceitfulness of riches, and the lust of other things entering in, look, he says, they choke the word, and it becometh unfruitful. Choke is uh, used in other places in the gospel of the throng. It says Jesus was being thronged. The people were pushing on him. He's worried about being crushed. The crowds were so thick. That's our word here for the things in life that can choke the, the thorns, the weeds, that can choke the word of God. This is what we want to pay attention to, all of us here, because most of us probably fight. We're in this conflict be between the Adamic nature that we've gotten through the fall and the new nature through the, the new birth, and there's a conflict, and there should be. Spurgeon said, dead men don't wrestle. That conflict is evidence of the new birth. But look what it says here. This is what we need to pay attention to. When he first gives the picture in verse 7, he says, some fell among thorns. The thorns grew up, choked it. Look what it says. It yielded no fruit. Here it says, entering in these things, choke the word of God. It becometh. Evidently, it had grown and flourished for a while. It becometh unfruitful. What it says about this scenario is the person's alive but worthless. The person's alive and useless. The person's not dead. They're alive. But there's no fruit. Alan Redpath said in a season in his life before he really gave himself to the ministry, he, he was a famous rugby player in, in England, and he was said he was sitting on a train, and it was making the sound it makes on the tracks. And he said, it started saying to him, saved soul, wasted life. Saved soul, wasted life. He said he couldn't get away from it. All the train was saying to him is saved soul, wasted life, saved soul. And that's what it's saying here. That, that we can sit in church, we can hear the word, we can look like we're producing fruit, but then other things come in and crowd it out. Sadly, it doesn't say this person's dead, it just says they're fruitless, they're useless, they're a saved soul and a wasted life. And Jesus is specific and tells us what these thorns are that choke. Number one, they're the cares of this life. Number two, they're the deceitfulness of riches. And number three, it's the want of other things. 